Hey everyone, so quick news update before I head out the door for the weekend. You can see we've still got all our hybrid mod stuff on the table. NVIDIA just announced its Titan X again. So it's not the Maxwell Titan X. This is now Titan X Pascal or what we're calling Titan XP. And before getting to the specs, this coverage is brought to you by MSI and their new GTX 1060 Gaming X video card. So Titan XP, I've only got the hard specs right now and then I've done some calculations to get kind of the rest, assuming that the GP102 architecture is the same as the rest of the GTX lineup of Pascal and not more similar to GP100, which is still Pascal, but has some differences in how the SMs uh, and CUDA cores line up given the extra focus on DP and FP16 and stuff like that. Uh, so what I've got here for you, it is GP102, the Titan X. It is a Pascal Titan X. They're keeping the same name like they've done for the Shield. I don't know why they do it, but they do. So Titan X, GP102 dash something. For a reminder, GP104 dash 400 is the 1080, GP104 dash 200 is the 1070, GP106 dash 400 is the GTX 1060. It's got 12 billion transistors. It's still 16 nanometer FinFET. We're looking at 3584 CUDA cores. And these are all things we know for certain, by the way. 1530 megahertz boost clock. Don't know the core clock, uh, but it's 1530 megahertz boosted. 11 teraflops of compute FP32. That's a pretty big deal. And what NVIDIA was pushing the most. 12 gigabytes of GDDR5X. And that is by micron, likely 10 gigabits per second or 10 gigahertz, same thing. It's what we saw in the 1080 as well. 384-bit memory interface is what I'm guessing based on numbers because one of the numbers we have is a 480 gigabyte per second memory bandwidth. That's known. Also known, August 2nd release date and a $1,200 price point on that card. In terms of things we've calculated, assuming this is similar architecture again to the 1080 uh, with a 128 core per SM setup, then we'd be looking at with 3584 CUDA cores, likely six GPCs containing 28 SMs or simultaneous multiprocessors, which, can, which are uh, accompanied by 28 TPCs, and that would also give us 224 TMUs, or texture map units. Other numbers we're getting based on crunching, again, 384-bit memory interface, which we've kind of derived partially from the 480 gigabyte per second memory bandwidth, and the known or assumed memory clock of uh, 10 gigabits per second effective. So that's what we're looking at for the Titan X. You can hit the link in the description below for the article that we've already published on this. Just a quick news update. Again, we'll be available August 2nd. I'm not sure if we're getting a review sample of this one, uh, but if we do, I'll run some production workloads on it as well as the normal gaming workloads. Because just a reminder, this is sort of a production card. You can certainly buy it for gaming, but uh, I don't know necessarily why you'd do that. It's a lot of money. Uh, the high-end stuff is already pretty good. Maybe if you want, you were desperate for something like 4K 144, something like that, but it is definitely going to be better for production, like video rendering, uh, animations, things like that. So as always, Patreon link the post video. If you want to help us out directly, link in the description below for more information. Subscribe if you want to see more content, and I'll see you all next time.